In these problems, we're being asked to find the area of a complex figure, so something that's other than a regular old square or triangle or rectangle. This one says, what is the area of the figure? All angles are right angles, dimensions are in feet. And then we have this weird looking L-shaped thing. What you want to do to figure out the area here is split this picture up into shapes that you do know how to figure out the area for. What I'm going to do is just draw a line right here and split this into two rectangles because I know how to find the areas of rectangles. This one down here is pretty easy. It's 6 by 4, this rectangle here. So that's going to be 6 times 4 because area of a rectangle is length times width. So 6 times 4. And to get the area of the whole thing, I'm going to add whatever area this is. So plus, now I've got to figure out the area that this is. I've got one side here, it's definitely two, but this length here, it's not eight, that was the whole, the whole thing. So I have to figure out what length this part is here. Well, I see that this side is four. If I subtract that four from this eight, I'm left with four up here. So the area of this rectangle up on top is two times four. So 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2 times 4, that's 8. So the area there is going to be 32, and then we have to get the, the dimensions right, the units right. It says dimensions are in feet. Since this is area, it's going to be square feet. So 32 square feet. All right, let's look at the next one, and we'll take um, a similar approach to this one, and then I'll show you maybe an easier way to solve this one. I can split this into two rectangles by drawing a line right here. That would be one way to do it. And this rectangle right here would be 1 by 4. That one's pretty easy. So 1 times 4 is the area of the first rectangle, and then we'll add the area of the second rectangle. To figure out the dimensions here, well, I know of this big rectangle, I know one side is definitely 5. And this side, it's not 6, it's 6 minus this little piece here, which is 1. So 6 minus 1 is 5. So that's 5 times 5. So 1 times 4 is 4, plus 5 times 5 is 25. So the area there is 29, and the dimensions are in feet again, so square feet. Another way to think about this one, though, is that it looks like a big rectangle with only one little bite taken out of it. So I could figure out what the dimensions would be of a, the bigger rectangle that would include that bite and then subtract that bite. If we were to do that, it would be 6 by 5, so that would be 30 for the big one. And then if I take this bite out of it, it's a 1 by 1 little bite, so it would minus 1 times 1, or 1. So I would get 30 minus 1, it's 29 square feet get the same answer both ways. That is how to figure out the area of a complex shape.